Hi everyone, welcome to our video at New Women Law Group. So I'm attorney Tsai, and together with me today is Sabrina, who has been working with us for quite some time. And she's also a student at MIT in Cambridge, Massachusetts. So Sabrina, well, I have heard that uh, the Boston area and the adjacent metro areas are famous for high quality education. And uh, there are many international students and scholars in that area. So can you tell us some data about that? Yeah, sure. There are many international students in the Boston area and surrounding areas. For example, in Boston University, 21% of all students are international students. In Northeastern University, there are more than 13,000 international students on campus. In Brandeis University, 20% of all students are international students. And other top schools, including MIT, Harvard, Yale, Brown University, Dartmouth College, and other schools, at least 10% of the student body is international. Oh, wow. Okay, that's impressive. Uh, in fact, I, myself, was once an international student in the United States, and later I was a postdoc. So I wonder, well, uh, obviously, many of the international students and postdocs may, uh, may have interest in obtaining U.S. permanent residency or green cards. So what are the options for them to apply a green card? Many researchers, including postdocs, PhD students, master students, and visiting scholars can apply NIW for a U.S. green card. NIW stands for National Interest Waiver and waives the job requirement. In other words, the applicant does not need a job offer in the United States or in core sponsorship and only needs to show that he or she has made a contribution to a specialty field. Our law firm has already helped numerous applicants get successful NIW green cards. Oh, okay, that's great. So, as I mentioned, I was once a PhD student, actually, in the U.S. as an international student, and later I was a postdoc. So, let's say if I'm an international student or a postdoc today, and I want to apply the NIW or other type of green card, so, how should I start? Where should I start? To start, you can email a copy of your resume and background information, such as a Google Scholar citation profile, to newwomenlog at info at nwmlaw.com to get a free evaluation and suggestions. Oh, that is clear. Okay, thank you. So, uh, what if, for whatever reason, I do not qualify for the NIW green card? Is there any other method? for me to get the U.S. green card. Yes, you can apply employer-sponsored perm green card. We have separate videos for that process on New Women Law Group's YouTube channel. The perm process is similar to applying H-1B work visa, but takes longer time. On the other hand, there is no quota limitation, and you do not have to hold H-1B visa status before applying perm green card. Our law firm has also helped many applicants to receive their work visas and perm green card approvals. Oh. Okay, it is good to know that besides NIW, one can also apply U.S. green card through the firm process. However, I heard that not every employer is willing to support the firm green card for the employee. So, so far we have focused on employment-based green card options. How about family-based green card options? Yes, indeed. If an international student marries a U.S. citizen or a U.S. green card holder, he or she can receive their green card relatively fast. In addition, if you marry a student or scholar who is currently applying for employment-based U.S. green card, you can receive green card as a derivative beneficiary. Okay, that sounds good. Uh, but what if I'm currently holding like an F1 student visa or a J1 visiting scholar visa? Will applying green card affect my visa status and uh, can I still travel abroad or visit the home country? Usually, the green card application should not affect your valid visa. You do not have to obtain a work visa before filing the green card application. If the visa stamp on your passport is still valid and unexpired, you can travel, but you may want to discuss with an immigration attorney before leaving the U.S. Okay, thank you for the explanation. I still have some other questions. For example, how long it may take from the start to receiving my green card, and how much it may cost. Well, am I qualified for the green card approval? And uh, to start, well, how should I prepare the documents? Where should I start the process? Uh, how can I find answers to those questions? 
You can check out our YouTube channel or email newwomenlaw at info at nwmlaw.com for a list of our videos in English that address all of those frequently asked questions and provides much more detailed information. At New Women Law Group, we have PhDs and professionals who receive their own green cards through NIW crime and family immigration, who have personal experience and expertise, who have helped thousands of international students and scholars like you achieve the American dream. Just check out our website, YouTube channel, or send us an email. Thank you, Sabrina, for the clear instruction, and uh, thank you for watching.